Hi, Joe from BearsLeak.com. When you're facing a major repair in your vehicle, such as a blown head gasket, before you go ahead and have an extensive repair done, you're going to want to make sure that you actually do have a blown head gasket. Now I'm going to go over one method to determine whether in fact your head gasket is indeed blown. This method involves using a block tester which can be bought at any of your local auto parts stores. Now there are two different types of block testers you can try, single chamber or double chamber. The first one I'm going to show you is the most common one that is used and it's a single chamber. Here is a single chamber block tester. Now what the block tester is, is a cylinder shaped uh, tube that you actually has a tapered rubber end that pushes down into the fill port of your radiator. If you don't have a fill port on your radiator, you'll have to do it in your expansion tank. And then there is a detachable bulb that actually goes on the top of this unit. Now the way this works is you fill the cylinder with the fluid up to the fill line, run the car, let it warm up, and squeeze the bulb. I'm going to show you in this short video clip how it works. Now it's important to note that any antifreeze that gets sucked up into the tester will contaminate the test. So you're going to want to lower your antifreeze level to about 6 inches below the tester or the fill cap just so we don't suck up any antifreeze. Now you can clearly see that the liquid starts out blue and it quickly turns into this yellow color. That indicates that you have hydrocarbon gases leaking into your cooling system and that would indicate a blown head gasket. One important tip that I should mention is that tests typically are not this fast to get a positive result. This particular car had a severely blown head gasket, so it quickly turned yellow. But in a lot of cases you have a smaller leak and this may take a few minutes of pumping before you actually get that positive result if you're ever going to get it. So now we move on to our dual chamber tester. Uh, somebody actually came up with this because of the fact that um, people sucked up antifreeze into the uh, block tester and it contaminated the tests and this is meant to be a preventative measure so that even if a little bit of antifreeze was sucked up you still wouldn't contaminate the blue liquid on the top level of the chamber. So here's a video of how this one works. So here you can see that um, you fill up the top chamber with the test fluid and leave the bottom chamber dry and again the bottom chamber is going to be a barrier in case you suck up any antifreeze that it's not going to contaminate the blue liquid above and therefore give you an inaccurate result of your test so starting the vehicle up um, it, it's going to start to release uh, gases out of the top of the radiator we pump the bulb to draw in those gases and if there is hydrocarbon buildup it's going to turn the liquid yellow. Now again, this is an extreme case. This is a major head gasket leak. It normally does not turn yellow that fast. Um, so if you have a smaller leak, you may be running the vehicle for a few minutes and you're going to want to continue to pump that bulb. So in conclusion, this is an easy and effective way to test for a blown head gasket. Now I prefer the single chamber block tester just because it's the good old fashioned way and there are some reports across the internet, I don't know how true they are, that with the dual chamber, even though you're sucking up antifreeze into that separate chamber, that somehow uh, the result can be flawed. Sometimes people say that the bottom chamber is yellow while the top chamber is blue. I just say make sure your coolant's low enough and use the single chamber block tester. We hope this video helped you and if you have any questions you can always visit our website at www.bearsleak.com, call us at 859-428-7342 or email us at contactus at bearsleak.com. Thanks for watching.